Hey guys, so here's the Samsung Galaxy Beam review. Now, I'm just going to go through some basic, um, you know, review and then you can check out the link in the description below for the full link. Um, now basically, it's a phone with projector. It's not really more. Um, I mean, it's a pretty decent phone overall, except if you're looking for, um, you know, a high-end kind of phone, then, um, you know, I guess this really wouldn't be the one, but if you're looking for a phone with a projector, I guess this is your only option. Now, basically, it will cost you 270 um, euros, um, so I guess that would be just over $300 um, United States. Uh, the the pros that has a pr the projector works very well, uh, excellent battery life, and solid and sturdy build. Cons, runs an obsolete build of Android, uh, and low-end specs don't, much, um, don't match professional needs. So yeah, I mean... If chances are if you're getting a projector on your phone, you're really, you know, showing people a lot of stuff on like a daily basis. Now that being said, if you're showing a lot of stuff, like what kind of stuff could you be showing, you know? So I mean, it's kind of sad to see that this phone isn't some like, you know, high-end kind of spec phone with a projector, but you know, maybe in the future. Um, so basically the projector is a Texas Instruments DL DLP um, pickle projector. Um, I guess it's pretty good. Um, one gigahertz CPU. Um, dual core Novathor, uh, five megapixel camera. Um, yes, interesting. So you know, I'll click through the pictures. You, you guess you can see. Um, I think I, I, I mean overall for a projector with a phone in it, I think it's actually really small looking. Um, you know, it does look like a standard um uh, Samsung phone that in the initial view, but in like you know obviously from like the top view down there. Um, here you can obviously see that there's a projector on there um, now uh, you know personally I think that this is a decent phone but you know I guess like I said before if you are using a projector on your phone chances are you're using high-end kind of stuff so you know maybe the specs won't match up but here's it nonetheless um, it has under one gigabyte of RAM um, around 768 megabytes of RAM 4 inch um, display uh, 720p video capture, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, um, with a 16 gigabyte option to increase it. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's a pretty decent phone, except, you know, I think that they, um, the Samsung should really, really, um, improve the actual specs of the phone, because, I mean, it, it's a good phone and everything, it's just that, you know, it's not really much, um, until the specs can be, you know, up to par um so yeah guys like i said before i'll leave this link in the description below i do recommend you check it out if you're in the market for a projector phone anyways guys comment rate and subscribe